Blessings! It is an honor to connect with you once again. Thank you for tuning in. This video has been much requested and I actually had a, another hygiene video up for quite some time and I got like a couple hundred thousand views and then as my consciousness and awareness and lifestyle shifted, I stopped using many of those products. So now I'm creating one that is more in alignment with my current way of existing and what I currently use now. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the holistic products that I use and also some household items that I use as products. All of these things are vegan, non-toxic, they aren't tested on animals, and it's all organic as well. It's organic! So yes, I would also like to state that none of these products that I'm sharing are just for the point of sponsoring them. Like, absolutely not. I'm not sponsored by any of these products. A few of them I do have codes for, and that is literally because I use these products so consistently and I'm always buying them that I've now become affiliated with them. So for some of the products, I actually do have discount codes for you guys, so hooking it up, you know? And by the way, it is so important to be using holistic, non-toxic, organic products on your body. Your skin is your largest, most absorbable organ. So literally anything that comes in contact with your skin, you are actually absorbing directly into your body, going through your bloodstream, circulating throughout your actual being. So if you're putting poisonous, like toxic things on your body, then you're literally becoming that. So like, no. Putting healthy, nutrient-dense things on your skin is literally as important as eating healthy, nutrient-dense items. Like, hello. So yes, most of this is all plant-derived. Very, very important. From Earth. Earth is all providing. And really, we are just expressions and manifestations of Earth, so it only makes sense that we are using Earth products for our Earth bodies. So yes, let's get started. Starting with showering. First of all, I use a shower filter. I have a filter on my shower that is purifying the water and removing the toxins. Unfortunately, the water that is coming out of our sinks and faucets and shower heads are literally like compacted with poisons and fluoride that calcifies the pineal gland and literally is adding toxins to your body. And so if you think about this with the heat and the steam and you're actually breathing it in and you're absorbing it through your skin, it's just not the business. So get yourself a water filter. I don't have like a specific one, but look it up on Amazon or on the internet. Like there are a bunch of filters. So definitely get your shower filter. So for washing my body, I like to use African black soap. Now this is an African black soap powder, which I really like because I just put it in my hands and kind of like go like this and put it all over and also including on my face. It also comes in like bar soaps. You can really find it anywhere. This company is called Shea Terra and I really love them. They're incredible. So that's what I use for my body. I also like to rinse my body with cold water. So I'll start my shower out with like a medium hot temperature and then I like to end with cold water because it closes your pores, also kind of like rejuvenates you. And there's actually a potent alchemy with using hot water and then cold water on your body. So try it, it's very rejuvenating. I also like to rinse my body with apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is literally good for everything. I also rinse my hair with apple cider vinegar. I'll show you the shampoo and conditioner I use in just a second. But after I condition, I pour a little bit of this on my head and always have a good hair day whenever I do that. I also use apple cider vinegar on my yoni. What is a yoni? Yes, it's a vagina. The sacred portal that casually links us to other realms. Yes, I use apple cider vinegar just as a quick rinse. I don't like scrub it with it. It's just like a nice little quick rinse, rinse it off, keep you feeling fresh. So for shampoo and conditioner, I use this incredible brand called Organic Grow Hair. And I actually found them on social media and there's like this incredible woman who creates these products. Love supporting women businesses, by the way. And of course, it's all organic and it's vegan and it's actually so organic that you're supposed to keep the products in the refrigerator, which I do, because I actually only wash my hair like once a week. Yes, you heard that right, like once every five to seven days, because it's really important to allow the natural oils that come from your scalp to actually permeate your hair. That's what keeps you shining. So 
yeah, don't be washing your hair too much. But yeah, so the shampoo and the conditioner, incredible. Thank you, Organic Grow Hair. Like, thank you. Okay, once I'm out of the shower, now we have a few different options here because different phases, different cycles, different seasons require different tools. So if it is a winter season, usually promotes dryness of the skin. Often I get kind of dry when it's cold outside. That's just how the body works. So in those times, I like to use shea butter. Now this is 100% natural African shea butter and it is super potent. It's like comes kind of chunky which I really like. I just take little globs of it like rub it in my hands, the heat kind of like loosens it up and just like put it sporadically all over my body and I usually do this before I go to sleep and I wake up feeling like super 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 nourished and I love it. So if it's daytime and I'm showering just after rising, I like to use this Gypsy Massage Oil, which is incredible, from Life Flower. It's a hemp oil based and has a bunch of essential oils that just like have you feeling like super refreshed and charged. And there's crystals in it and a bunch of like roses. Like, yes, that's what I want to be putting on my body. That's what I want in my body. And it also smells amazing. Something else that I like to use for my body is magnesium oil. Magnesium is so essential to the body. Our body needs magnesium. So this is actually magnesium that you can spray topically. There are also magnesium products that you can take internally, but I find that if you spray magnesium topically on areas that have soreness or that require some more circulation, it helps. Your body loves it. I also use this as deodorant. I don't use a deodorant because I prefer to allow the pores of my armpits to naturally release whatever it wants to release because like I'm not trying to keep anything toxic in my body like such a weird concept and also if you are healthy and drinking water then you actually smell good like I kind of dig my smell like is that weird maybe whatever so yeah, I just spray one spray of this on each of my armpits and it actually helps your body to regulate the odor because again, your body requires magnesium, so it helps to balance it out. If it's one of those times where I'm feeling kind of like tense and have like little blockages in my body or even if I'm like emotionally feeling some type of anxiety or stress or if I'm undergoing some stress in my life, then I will use Hempathy. This is a CBD based therapy cream. It's made with shea butter so it's nice and thick and the CBD is super potent. Again, because our body absorbs everything that we apply to it, if you apply CBD to your body it literally helps to regulate all of your system and bring you back to a homeostasis. So yeah, this is incredible and I also help to create this product so pretty cool. So something else during winter time, if I'm feeling kind of pale and want to have just like a deeper glow to my skin, then I will use a self tanner. I actually haven't used a self tanner in like almost like nine months now. That's a significant amount of time, but I still have it just in case I'm ever like feeling super pale and want to wear shorts and want to be glowing. So like this is an all natural earth derived self tanner. It's literally called beauty by earth. Like. That alone sold it for me. And it's made with all organic ingredients. So, you know, if you're feeling kind of pale and you want to glow, here you go. That rhymed. Okay, for my face, I like to use apple cider vinegar, once again, always coming through, as a toner. I literally just apply some apple cider vinegar on like a little organic cotton pad and just put it on my face. And it kind of stings at first, also smells like a little bit weird, but my skin loves it, so. I listen to the proof. Face masks. I love to use Aztec clay. Now, this is a health and beauty ancient secret. It even says on the back it's one of Cleopatra's secrets, so like embody that goddess energy you already know. And I just mix some of this Aztec clay again with apple cider vinegar. It feels really intense at first and then it like hardens and like you feel like, whoa, this is never going to end. You kind of feel like uncomfortable, but I think that that's like a journey in its own. So yeah, and I find that it's literally like a natural Botox. It like actually plumps your skin, like removes fine lines. It's literally the best mask that I've ever experienced and I've been using it for like seven years now. So 
yes, love Aztec clay. So I also love to use facial tools. Facial tools are just like so fun. It even sounds fun. Gua sha. Gua sha. If you haven't heard about a gua sha, look it up. It's good for not only the face, but all parts of the body. This is a crystal one made by an amazing woman named Michelle. And it's also kind of like rigid right here. And basically what you do is you apply it to your skin. Oh my God, I look so funny doing this. I'm like making it look more intense. And you apply an oil to your skin first which I like to use DHA. DHA is absolutely incredible. This literally makes your skin glow. It's actually an internal product, but you can use it topically as well. Feeds the brain, helps electricity like run through your system, and it literally makes you glow from the inside out. So I use this DHA oil apply it to my skin because it's a thin oil even though it's a fatty chain acid it's nice and thin it's like perfect for the skin and I just kind of go like this on all parts of my skin also on my neck and our lymph nodes are right here so you can actually use the gua sha to push excess stagnation to your lymph nodes so that it can actually flush out of your system this helps your skin to kind of like recirculate energy and reorganize in all the right places. So yes, another tool that I use, it's also a crystal tool. Like, let's be real, like the fact that we're using like crystals on our skin, like this is a real fairy tale. A crystal roller and yes, you guessed it right. It is a crystal tool that you literally roll on your skin and it helps to make your skin not puffy. It also, just like the gua sha, helps to kind of like move things around, put things back into place, and it really just feels good. Helps to like remove any like fine lines, keep you looking fresh, you know? We're, we wanna look young, we wanna look vibrant, we wanna look healthy. So this helps, and again, crystals hold energy. Crystals contain Akashic records. They are amazing to use on your skin as well as like in meditations, like crystals hold energy, we all know about crystals. If you don't know about crystals, you should know about crystals. Using crystals on the skin, great idea, great idea. And the last tool for my skin, I know, I go all out, is a cup. So if you have heard about cupping like parts of the body or getting like your back cupped, what it does is it literally uses like suction to suck air from your skin and bring it to the surface so that it can, again, circulate through the body better. So I also use DHA, apply it to my skin, and kind of cup my face. Not kind of, I like fully cup my face. And I would demonstrate, but I'm not going to. And I'm sure there are a bunch of videos online where you can find people cupping your face so you know how. Same kind of motion as the gua sha, where you do it like here, up, and then also to the lymph nodes so they can kind of like cleanse the energy and cleanse the toxins out of your skin because we don't want to be harboring toxins in the skin. We just don't want to do that. So once I've used all these weird little tools, I like to spray rose water. Rose water. Rose is actually the highest vibrating frequency of anything, like of anything, even more so than earth. So. Spraying this on your body as well as drinking rose water, I love drinking rose water, literally like attunes you to a higher frequency. So I spray this all over my body and it always feels amazing. Like already I feel better, it's working. <laughs> For real though, I love rose water and if you're ever feeling like kind of like stagnant or like you need a little pick me up throughout your day, spray some rose water on your face, watch what happens. Instant frequency upgrade. Okay, brushing my teeth. See, my teeth are pretty white. Yeah, I'm stoked, and I don't get them whitened or anything like that. I actually use a little concoction of my own, which is simply just coconut oil. Yeah, we all love coconut oil. I also use this to remove makeup at night, just FYI. Um, but I use coconut oil and baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. Half coconut oil, half baking soda, and maybe like some peppermint essential oils spin it around in like a little jar and I actually just make some pre-make some so that I can just like use it casually whenever I'm like looking to refresh my teeth and I literally just brush my teeth with that really important to not spit the oil in the sink it will clog your drains and make them smell terrible so remember to always spit your oil in some type of trash can 
And to actually brush my teeth, I like to use a bamboo toothbrush because it's natural and again, you're brushing your teeth with this so you don't wanna be using some type of like BPA toxic plastic to brush your teeth and to put into your mouth. Our bodies absorb everything, so really important to use a tool that is earth-derived, just like your body. I also like to use a copper tongue scraper. I actually do this in the morning and right after I brush my teeth, and just like kind of all throughout the day, especially if you have bad breath, it's actually your tongue that smells bad. So you should for sure get a copper tongue scraper, and you literally just put it at the back of your mouth and then just pull it forward. You don't need to like press super hard, like like get it in there no like it's you just put it on the surface and pull it forward and then you spit it out and then you wash it and put it away and yeah it literally removes bad breath i haven't had bad breath for a really long time so you should try it to floss my teeth i like to use an organic neem floss neem by the way is incredible so any neem product that i can find i'm using it okay for my hair Lots of you guys ask about this because I have crazy hair and somehow I managed to keep it like semi-tamed. So something that's very important, if you have curly hair, don't brush your hair dry. If your hair is dry and you brush it, it'll turn into a frizz ball. Like literally mine turns into an afro. And afros are beautiful, so sometimes I like to rock that. But for those times where I'm looking for like the soft curly waves, I brush my hair when it's wet and has conditioner in it in the shower and then I don't brush it after that until I shower next. So once it is wet and I'm out of the shower, first thing I use on my hair is Witch I Love Your Hair. Now this is like literally one of the best products I've ever used in my life because it's not only good for your hair, but it's also good for your skin. It's so natural and so light that you can literally spray it on your face as well. And it's crystal infused, you can hear them shaking in there, and it has incredible essential oils that literally like uplift your mood. So this is all around an incredible product. And whether your hair is curly or straight or frizzy or frail, this will work for your hair. So definitely check it out. So once I've sprayed that in my hair, I like to use an organic Moroccan argan oil. Argan oil is incredible for not only your hair, but your skin, but I find that it's super essential if you have curly hair to nourish the ends. If you have curly hair and it's frizzy, then your hair just needs moisture. So argan oil is super potent, and though it is light, it's also thick, and it permeates the hair really, really well. So I put some argan oil in my hair, and then to style it, I use this Hawaiian conditioning mist. This is from a company called Alba, and I find that this is probably the best hair molding product because it's super lightweight and it allows your hair to actually do what it wants to do while also kind of like keeping it intact. So yeah, I don't even have to use much of these products, which is really convenient because I remember when I was in like high school, I used to put like globs of products in my hair just to like keep it okay. But because all these products are super potent and natural, therefore absorbable to all parts of the body, you only need a little bit. So once I've gotten out of the shower, again, I don't brush my hair, I'll spray which I love your hair into my hair I'll put a little bit of the argan oil mostly at my ends it's important to like not put oil at the top of your hair because that's what will make you look greasy and also if you're not washing your hair every day your head will naturally produce oils that make your hair look beautiful and feel beautiful so I only apply the oil to like the ends and then I take the conditioning mist and I spray it all over my hair and I kind of like use my hands just to make sure that it's all distributed evenly and I usually just let my hair dry like that. If I'm looking for like a little more fluff, then I'll just kind of like crunch my hair and then I'll wait for it to get a little bit more dry and I'll kind of like comb through it with my hands. Again, not like brushing my hair, but kind of just like combing through it and like breaking apart the curls. And yeah, my hair totally has a mind of its own, which I'm sure lots of you can relate to. So really, however my hair turns out, I kind of just let it be. I just provide it the essential nutrients, organic earth-derived nutrients, and like, I give it freedom to do whatever it wants. So sometimes it's bigger than other days, sometimes it's like tamer, and I observe that it kind of reflects my energy for the day too. So that's something as well. Waxing. 
Now, I totally support women who feel empowered to let their hair grow and not shave, not wax anything. I support it, girl. You rock it, you do your thing. For me personally, I like to be kind of smooth and it's kind of been something that has been a theme for me my whole life. I have like little like blonde peach fuzz hairs and I look like a polar bear, which I'm also okay with. So like that's something. I don't shave, I don't wax all the time. There are many months where I'm kind of just like, I'm letting it free grow. You know, it's good to switch it up. And yes, I have been waxing myself. Sounds crazy. I know, but somehow I've managed to do it. And the more that you wax, the more it removes the hair follicle from the pore, so the less that it will grow. Whereas, you know, when you shave, then the hair comes back even thicker. So to wax, I use what's called sugaring. Now this is made out of pure organic honey, and you literally just heat it up and kind of like take it in your hand and work with it and massage it into a wax and just apply it to your skin and rip it off. Again, doing this on my yoni is a full-on accomplishment. I've been working at it for a few years now, and I've finally mastered it. I don't necessarily suggest that you try it yourself unless you feel called to, unless you're like, yeah, that's right, I could rip the hair off my vagina, no problem. So my last step to getting ready is using essential oils. Essential oils are incredible because they actually can enhance and uplift your mood, as well as bring you to a homeostasis and kind of like balance your energy out. If you're familiar with essential oils, then you know that there are different types of oils for different types of feelings and situations and desires. One that I like to use often is the Goddess Blend from Chasing Unicorns. Chasing Unicorns is one of my favorite companies. They have a bunch of other amazing bath bombs and hand sanitizers, like pretty much anything. And they're all organic and natural and it's also a sister company. So gotta support my women. And yeah, I really just love all the products that they make. They also infuse it with crystals and roses. Again, like that's what I wanna be using on my body for sure. And this is pretty much the last step to my holistic hygiene routine. I'm just like, put it here, sometimes right here and on my wrists, smell it, take it in, breathe it in, take a few deep breaths, and I'm ready to go. So yes, thank you for tuning in. I hope that this was helpful. Again, I just want to reiterate the importance of using organic, non-toxic products on your body, on your beautiful vessel, because you are absorbing everything that you apply to yourself as well as everything that you are experiencing in your environment. So that's something else to be aware of. Have a beautiful day, have a beautiful life. You are blessed. May miracles manifest to you effortlessly. <laughs> Namaste.